All right, so in this video, I want to show you all how you can actually take PDF files from your computer and put it on your iPad without having to seek through iTunes. Now, currently what I have is I do have a connection of my iPad to the computer. I do have iTunes up, but I'm going to show you without the seeking process. So if you look here, the first thing you know is that this is iTunes. If you look off to the right, you'll see a button that says iPad. This is your iPad. Go ahead and click on it. If you notice here, you should be familiar with this part here, where you can sync your contacts, you know, sync your music, your movies, whatever. So what I want to do is, uh, if I were to go onto books, for instance, and I want to add these books, whenever you click sync books or whatever, you get this interesting question that pops up. Are you sure you want to remove existing music, movies, TV shows, books, and tools from this iPad in sync with this iTunes library? Now that's a pretty scary question, especially if you have a lot of stuff on your device and you're worried about it getting lost just to get what's in the library. So to work around this, we're going to click Cancel. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this iPad. Now, this is everything that is actually on your iPad. If you go and click on Add To to the right, once again, this is what you have, and this is the space you have available. And then off to the left, you'll see a selector here. Go ahead and hit that drop down and select Books, because that's what we're going to do in this presentation. With Books selected, all you have to do is take that PDF, you drag it over, you drop it, and there you go. It gets added to your iPad. Now I already had this added to my iPad, so that's why you didn't see the size decrease. But depending on what size PDF you have, you're going to see a decrease for your iPad's memory. Once you go to iBooks, you click on PDFs on your uh, actual iPad itself, it's there.